up my Calamity crew? How's it going today? I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So, a few things to go over. We had a few E3 conferences. We had Capcom yesterday. We had the Nintendo Direct today. And also, we had the Bandai Namco. So, I'm going to just be briefly going over all three in one video. And then in a separate video I'm putting together, I'm going to go over my top games through each, well, for all of the presentations. So, here we go. So for Capcom, they didn't really go over too much. Um, they uh, touched on Resident Evil 8 uh, Reverse. It's going to go live for the... Uh, the multiplayer thing that, that that came with the game, which I was wondering when the motherfucker started, because I was trying to play it, but yeah, it wasn't working, and I was wondering when they were going to start it, but I guess here within the next month, it's going to be starting up, so that's good news there. They announced a mystery DLC that's going to be coming down the line. They said that it's in the development stage now, so that tells me that, yeah, we're looking months, if not a year out, for the first DLC for the game. So Next, they went over Monster Hunter. It is some kind of wings of ruin or whatever. I don't know. It looks okay. I don't know. We'll see how, how it is. I'm a Monster Hunter fan. But, yeah, the whole story aspect of it looks way different than what I'm used to for the Monster Hunter games. Next, they had Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney had a new game that's coming. And then, yeah, that was pretty much it for Capcom. They talked about some stupid-ass pro tour. Like, seriously, this is fucking E3. We come to see games. We don't come to see a fucking pro tour. The pro tour they could do after they do their game presentation. But yeah, for them to just basically go over Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, and Ace Attorney, and then call it a day, I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I don't want to know about a pro tour. I can't even be in the pro tour right now. So why do I care about it? <sighs> But yeah, it was just a major focus on, like I said, Monster Hunter and Ace Attorney to basically fill a good majority of their time. So it felt like a wasted E3 in terms of Capcom. Alright, the Nintendo Direct. The Nintendo Direct, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it now. Nintendo won... E3 this year. We haven't heard from Sony yet what, what they're going to say in terms of what they've got lined up, but yeah, I think Nintendo definitely won it this year. And I'll tell you why in the next video. Alright. Alright. Going live. Alright, so for Nintendo... They started out with a bang. They had Super Smash Brothers. They have, well, they're doing a collaboration with Tekken. And we got Kazuya. My man Kazuya from the Tekken series. He is going to become a playable character. And what they showed, his basic move set is literally a copy and paste from the Tekken games. They have a lot of Kazuya's moves that people have come to know and love. So. He's definitely going to be a get for me, for Smash Brothers. Next, they had Life is Strange, uh, True Colors, and then they had the, uh, the remaster as well, which, yeah, my other video I talked about that. Guardians of the Galaxy is coming to Switch, which I was shocked to see because that game looks fucking nuts, so... I can't wait to see how it plays and runs on the Switch. 
They had Worms Rumble. I'm not really into the Worms games, but yeah, I know plenty of my friends that are. So, there you go. You got a Worms game coming. They had Astria. And then one called Deer Villagers, I believe. Those two games didn't even really pique my interest. So I was like, eh. Two Point County as well. I'm not really sure on that one. I'm going to have to look into that one a little bit more. It looks interesting. Something I would possibly play. And then we had Super Monkey Ball. I haven't seen Super Monkey Ball in a long time, so I'm glad to see that it's coming back for Nintendo Switch. It's called Banana Mania. Banana Mania. <laughs> then we had Mario Party Superstars. Yeah, this is definitely one I'm going to pick up because, yeah, I love the other Mario Party game. So, yeah, the Superstars looks like it pulls from all the Mario universe to make it a more diverse game so it's definitely something that looks like it's going to be yeah a hot game so Metroid 4 was mentioned but they quickly moved on so they didn't give us release day they didn't give us anything regarding Metroid 4 but it wasn't all bad news because they did announce as of October 8th, 2021, we will have a Metroid game called Dread. And it's going to come with two Amiibos, too. So if any of my Calamity crew is into Amiibos, yeah. Once you pick up this game, you're going to be able to get a Samus Amiibo. And then there's like a Hunter-type monster th or robotic monster thing that hunts Samus throughout the game. You're going to be able to get that amiibo as well. I can't remember the thing's name, but yeah. Two amiibos plus Metroid. Let's go. Next, we got Just Dance 2022. I'm not into the fucking Just Dance games. <laughs> I, I fucking hate those games with a passion. But my daughter loves them. My daughter's almost a teenager, so yeah, she fucking... Man, she loves those games, so I'll be picking it up for her for sure. Next, it was a racing game. Uh, it's going to be a Nintendo exclusive, which blew me away, but it's called Cruising Blast. It, it looks like Need for Speed meets a chill, relaxed music game. I don't know, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. There was a Dragon Ball Z Kakarot uh, plus... Um, expansion that's coming out September 24th. I'm definitely going to get that because anyone who's anyone who knows one J. Howard or J.D. Calamity knows that I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I'm an anime nerd in that regard. My daughter, she loves uh, <laughs> uh, Attack on Titan and a few of those others, but yeah, me, Dragon Ball Z right here, all the way. We had Mario Golf Super Rush, and then, once again, Monster Hunter Stories 2, the, the Wings of Ruin, is coming to Switch as well. That was its name. I didn't mention it in the other video. Um, I just said Monster Hunter wings or whatever but yeah it's monster hunter stories 2 wings of ruin and that's going to be coming to the switch on july 9th uh, we had wario wario wear so i'm not sure if a lot of you were into the original wario game i liked it for what it was so yeah I will be getting this WarioWare. It's called Get It Together. That comes out September 10th. There is another Shin Megami or Shin Tensei uh, Shin Tensei Megami, I believe, is the the name of the game. 
5 coming out. And it comes out of all days, November 12th, which is my birthday. So, I'll let your boy on my birthday. Um, we had Dangan Rem... Some weird shit. I've never played it, but it's called Dangan Rampa. Dangan Rampa. Papa? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Anyway, moving on, we had a uh, Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater. I loved Fatal Frame. I love those games. I definitely will be getting that one because that will be a unique horror game for the Switch. They don't have too many games on the Switch that are very good horror games. Um, the Blair Witch game, I have it. It was, uh, it was alright. It wasn't the best. There's a Doom Eternal expansion uh, coming. And then for my Tony Hawk fans, the Pro Skater 1 and 2 collection is coming June 25th. And then there is a game called, I believe, Rebellion or Strong Brigade coming out as well that looks... It looks alright. I'm not really... I wasn't really into that one. Let me just say that. I'm not into the next one either, but it has its fans, so I'm going to say it anyway. Mario plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. I don't know. You guys could tell me in the comments um, what what there is regarding the Mario plus Rabbits game. I'm not really into it, but... I'm open to new experiences, so, I mean, yeah, if you let me know what it's like, yeah, maybe I'll give it a shot. Now, Advanced Wars. They're bringing Advanced Wars back for the Switch. That blew me away because, yeah, I was a huge Advanced Wars fan uh, as, a, as a younger buck. <laughs> so, I can't wait for that one. There's a Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DC DLC, sorry, coming out on June 18th. For anyone that has that game, I wasn't really into Hyrule Warriors because to me, I don't know. It it it, it didn't really make sense to play the Breath of the Wild and then you have to go back and play a story that is leading up to Breath of the Wild. So, yeah, that kind of threw me off. I don't know. I'm weird. I may try it one of these days, but, yeah, I was like, I already beat Breath of the Wild. Why the hell would I want to go back in time and play the events that led up to Breath of the Wild, if you follow me? <sighs> anyway... We got Skyward Sword, uh, Legend of Zelda as well. And that's coming out July 16th. We got the Game & Watch, which is pretty weird, but it's it's cool for what it is. It's like a watch, but yeah, you can play games. Well, it's a game, little mini game system, but it has a watch feature to it to where the watch is in the background as you play. Like, I don't know, it's fucking weird. Uh, I'm not really into it because, I mean, it's like I have a Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, playing that as opposed to playing this, this has like PS, or not PS, it has Nintendo, basic Nintendo graphics to it. So, yeah, it's not really something I would be into. But for those who are into that type of stuff, that comes out the day of days, November 12th as well. Breath of Wild 2, they did mention that game. They had a trailer for it as well, which was weird enough. It, it, you didn't really, I don't remember seeing Link in that, or not Link. Well, yeah, Link. I didn't see Link in that trailer. I don't believe at all. You see Zelda, but you don't see Link at all. So you got to ask yourself what's going on with that, why they didn't have Link in that at all. And yeah, that wraps up that conference. 
So in the next video, I will be detailing Bandai Namco, which I have a lot to say about Bandai Namco because they pulled a huge fucking bait and switch with their fucking uh, with their conference. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We've reached the last one for today. And it was for Bandai Namco. The first game that they revealed, the first and only game, I'll get into it more. But yeah, this game definitely gets my badass. I'm branding it now. It's going to be a part of the JD Calamity, one of my new brandings. The Badass Seal of Approval, House of Ashes. It's a part of that whole, yeah, anthology, um, what was the name of it? Man of Medan, or whatever, I believe it's called. The Horror Games, it's a part of an anthology. I don't know, I'll look it up, I'll research it, and then I will uh, put it in the comments. But yeah, House of Ashes, it looked like you followed a military, uh, a military crew that basically gets well falls into a hole somewhere and once they fall into the hole it leads to some underground uh, underground uh, I don't know what it is an underground uh, place in which yeah they're basically in the they're they're trying to traverse this place in the dark um, they're slowly being picked off by something in the dark, some kind of monsters, and it has choice the choice mechanic to it to where, depending on your choices, what you choose to do throughout the game basically defines how many people will survive the overall game. So, yeah, it definitely looks awesome. It has a... Uh, since they're soldiers in it. It does have a uh, gunplay to it as well. Hopefully we'll get a demo so you could kind of see how the, the the story mechanics, the the choice mechanics, and the the gunplay is for it. Hopefully it's all good. Hopefully everything rolls into a good gameplay experience. I'm not going to reserve it. I'm going to wait and see how the game is first before I officially give it my badass seal of approval. But yeah, from what I've seen so far, to me, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good one. So um, it does come out October 22nd for anyone that is interested. Now, with all that out the way, let me get into what they did for their E3. Basically, that was it. We just got that game and that was it. There was no other games, nothing like that. I was like, what the fuck? Even people in the chats were like, what the hell is going on? They just did it for one game. You came all the way to E3 just to show one damn game. One. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my gosh, like this fucking E3 this year, man. This is this is a prime example of why they they are saying that fucking E3 is dying. It's dead. Like nobody wants to come to E3 anymore. And these conferences, these past few days have kind of in my opinion kind of showed that. Like Sony Sony hasn't said or done anything yet. I have a feeling that within the next few days, if not their next state of play, they're definitely going to have something to where they're going to come out the gate and come firing. But, yeah. Yeah, this E3 was was ridiculous. It, it was not good. Each of the companies did not really have games to show off, except Microsoft. I will give them... Their credit, they did have a lot to show off, but yeah, theirs just felt kind of shallow to me. Like Nintendo, they, 
like I said, they won. They they won this year. They had a lot of games that yeah really surprised me. The Fatal Frame, bringing uh, Metroid back. Yeah, they they yeah they listen to their fans. They listen to their customers. <sighs> yeah, so that's that's why I feel they won E3 this year. They they had a lot more in terms of what people actually wanted. A lot of the other companies, they had a lot of filler stuff, but yeah. So with that being said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. This one was a little bit longer because, yeah, instead of doing separate videos for each, I just decided to mold them into one because literally some of these conferences aren't even worth doing a whole video for. Like, it was ridiculous. I am just in shock at how E3 has strayed so far from what it used to be. I mean, yeah, I know they don't have a lot of the backing that they used to, but, ugh, like, what the fuck happened? Like, <laughs> ugh, oh, gripes. But, yeah, that's going to be it, and I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'm going to get to work on my next uh, video. I don't know what the hell I want to play yet. I don't know. I'm all over the place right now. Just in all fucking directions with games right now. But, yeah, I may play some more. Um, the fuck do I want to play? I'm at a loss. I don't know what the hell I want to play, guys. Give me some ideas. Because otherwise, I'm probably just going to go ahead and play some more Ghost of Tsushima. Ah! Tongue tied. Ghost of Tsushima. So I started that, so I may hit that up. But yeah, talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. You blew it! <laughs>